मैथ्स सैंपल क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर क्लास टू लेट एस स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मैच द कलम वन विथ कलम टू सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन कलम वन इज सेवेंटीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट इज थर्टी फोर सो वी नीड टू मैच ए विथ थ्री लेट एस सॉल्व क्वेश्चन बी ऑल्सो हियर वी कैन सी फाइव ग्रुप्स ऑफ टू दैट मीन्स टेन सो वी नीड टू मैच बी विथ वन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री दैट इज ए थ्री बी वन सी टू क्वेश्चन टू फाइंड द नेक्स्ट शेप्स टू कंप्लीट द पैटर्न हियर द पैटर्न इज एट फर्स्ट अ बिग रेक्टेंगल देन अ स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल एंड देन अ ट्राइंगल अगेन द सेम थिंग इज रिपीटेड हियर दैट इज अ बिग रेक्टेंगल स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल एंड अ ट्राइंगल सो आफ्टर दिस वन a small rectangle and a triangle will come so the correct answer is option 2 question number 3 four dices were showing six dots each on its upper side upon rolling what is the total number of dots four dices will have so here we need to find out four groups of six that means four multiplied by six equals to 24 so the second one is the correct answer that is 24 question number 4 the number that should come in place of question mark is so basically we need to find this number and we can see this is a multiplication 4 multiply 2 is equal to 8 so we need to place it here under the ones column and 4 multiply 8 equals to 32 so here under tens column we need to write 2 so correct answer is 2 that means first one first option question 5 how many sides do seven triangles have we know a triangle has three sides so seven triangles have that means seven multiply 3 equals to 21 sides question number 6 which mathematical operation will make the following number sentence true here the answer is division so here we need to put the division sign because 12 divided by 3 equals to 4 question number 7 how many pairs of stars can be made answer is 6 pairs Question number eight: Solve thirty-six multiply eight and find the multiplier, multiplicand, and the product. Thirty-six multiplied by eight. That means here thirty-six is the multiplicand, eight is the multiplier, and two hundred eighty-eight is the product. Question number nine: Fill in the blanks. Five tens. Divided by five equals to what? Five tens means fifty. Now fifty divided by five equals to ten. Question number ten: State true or false. Correct the false sentences. So first one is four multiplied by nine. That means thirty-six. But here thirty-seven is given. That means this statement is false. And here we also need to write the correct one. That means four multiplied by nine equals to thirty-six. Similarly, we need to solve all the other problems also. Question number eleven: Mr. Gupta has forty-two books to pack in seven boxes. He needs to pack same number of books in each box. How many books does he need to pack in each box? Here, Mr. Gupta needs to pack 42 books in seven boxes. That means we need to divide 42 by seven, and the answer will be six boxes. Question number twelve: Choose the option that completes the given pattern. So look at the pattern carefully. Here, at first, A B is given. Then after that, A A B, then A A B B. Then three times of a, 
and b b that means after that three times of a and three times of b will come question number 13 sara has to distribute 20 fish among five fish bowls equally what will you do to solve the problem and how so here sara needs to divide 20 fish among five fish bowls that means she needs to divide 20 by 5 so here the fourth statement is correct divide 20 by 5 and each bowl will have four fish question number 14 the pictograph shows the number of students who were absent during a particular week answer the following questions by referring to the table below look at the table carefully to solve the questions here we need to remember one thing that each star means two students so first question is what is the total number of students who were absent on tuesday and wednesday so we can see on tuesday five children were absent but here each star means two students so on tuesday 5 multiplied by 2 that means 10 students were absent and on wednesday 2 multiplied 2 that means 4 students were absent so the total number of students who were absent on tuesday and wednesday are 10 plus 4 equals to 14 next question is on which day maximum number of students were absent if you need you can pause the video here and look at the table carefully once again so for 14b on which day maximum number of students were absent answer is the maximum number of students were absent on tuesday next question on which day none of the students were absent take a look on the table again to solve these answers here the answer is on thursday none of the students were absent next question how many more students were absent on monday than friday answer is four more students were absent on monday than friday i hope these questions will be helpful for students for their exam preparation thanks for watching kids a to z